This project came about when she texted me and said she was extremely ill with um, cancer and I wanted to make a piece of work about that. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage 3B, which means it was in three places within my body. I was then uh, prescribed six months of chemotherapy uh, using the drugs ABVD, and I had that every second week uh, for a total of six to seven hours. She was looking for chemotherapy partners to get someone to go and sit with her while she has her chemo. An eight hour session, being pumped full of drugs, not the nicest experience in the world. So I went along, sat with her, and we talked, laughed, she cried a bit, and the idea was she would give me her medical data. Dave approached me to receive my medical data when he started to talk about the new art project that he was working on, and he was informing me of the difficulties to get the information that he requires from the body, because obviously without the medical data um, or being able to have any of the scans available to him, um, the project wasn't going to be able to move forward. So the next stage was to contact my chemotherapy nurse who was then able to send me a disc with all of my CT, PET scans and some of my lung uh, x-rays which Dave would then be able to piece together and take out what he needed for his work. The idea was to make uh, 2D images to start off with taking the slices and somehow making them into 2D beautiful pictures that represent Caroline but also maybe cancer of some sort. But after researching medical software, I realised I could take it into a 3D format. It was just then trying to work out how to take it out of the 3D format into a printable file. I wanted the process to be very much me, a learning curve of doing this and also as an artist it's always nice as a process taking something and see it finish through. I chose to print the lungs because it was the biggest organ I could extract from the data I was given. So now we have a rib cage and the heart and the shoulder blades. So this is, this is the idea for my first initial print. So originally 2D, I wanted to push it further to make it more interesting and more physical and a bit more sculptural like, so I went into 3D. So this is what's called an SLS machine, which is Selective Laser Sintering. It's effectively a, an oven filled with lasers and nylon powder. Now, you have a bed of powder at this level, giant laser that goes up the side here, hits a mirror up here, and another mirror up here. This mirror rotates and uh, lets the laser color in the cross-section of the part at the particular layer. It does this about 3,000 times, gr gradually lowering the build 0.1 minute at a time, and then at the end of it, you have this box about yay big, uh, filled with powder and then lots of solid parts on the outside. So you then take the, um, the, the powder bed to the other room which is the dust room, uh, put it in the breakout chamber, put your foot on a pedal and that raises up the, uh, the build. Uh, the powder then falls out around the edge uh, with all the solid parts in there. You can then take those parts, you brush, brush them off, uh, use uh, compressed air to uh, blast away any, air, any uh, dust you can't get to in nooks or crannies and then you have the finished part. For me, technically, I was impressed with myself of actually being able to take this information and print it. But it's weird, you're holding someone's lungs. They may be not to scale the right material, but it, it is, this has come from someone's body. So yeah, it's, it was quite emotional. It's quite an interesting journey to work with. I suppose you can maybe see that within the print, especially the rib cage is very fragile. It sort of questions you know, life and death and the rigidity of us as human beings. I was incredibly, incredibly happy when I first saw Dave's uh, artwork that he emailed through the pictures to me. It makes me incredibly happy and proud actually and I want as many people as possible to see this and hopefully it can be some use in some way or maybe inspire other people within their creative world and yeah, I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. I think the future is definitely in 3D printing for me at the moment. I uh, will always go back to photography as a means of capturing initial ideas. I think the next challenge will be to 3D print a full body. A full body, life size.